I thought I was going to get away with not having a video this morning, and I, I appreciate you're probably getting sick of looking at this thing, although I never do because this is art. A couple proofs that modern people are stupid. It's like, WTF, Batman, what are you thinking? What do you see on this that you don't see on a modern freaking motorcycle? I see two things. A center stand. So you got a flat tire. What do you do? Throw your motorcycle on its side on the ground? Center stand. I can take the front wheel off. I can take the forks off. And the weight goes back. And it's sitting nicely on this tripod of the two legs of the center stand and the back tire. I can take the back wheel off. And once I take the back wheel off, weight goes forward. And it's sitting nicely on the two legs of the center stand and the front tire. And believe me, I've done that. I've, I've corrected various things on this bike without having to have some fancy engine stand. Because back then, when the world was new, before modern people sprung to life, you worked on your own damn bike. They weren't hermetically sealed. They weren't covered with GoBot plastic body parts. They didn't have computer technology and satellite uplink. We're making ourselves stupid. What else do you see? That thing sticking out of the case right there, it is called a Kickstarter. Even on smaller modern bikes, they don't have Kickstarters. They rely on the battery. I was at a bar last week, Greca's in Roger City, eating a hamburger, drinking a beer. A Carling Black Label. I thought it was good because in my youth I drank it like water. But now that I'm older, I don't like that kind of cheap crap stuff like Bud Light. I mean, oh my gosh. It amazes me that people were pumping money into a foreign corporation to drink watery, nasty beer. Go Stout and Porter. Drink real beer. Drink local. Drink two or three instead of like a damn 12-pack. Moderate yourself. Anyway, the Kickstarter. I was at the bar, and this guy was, drunk guy, was going from table to table telling a story about how he felt bad. Because his battery died, and he couldn't start his bike. I don't even have a battery. I've got a freaking Kickstarter. And this guy gave him a ride and got busted for a DUI. I felt bad because I didn't realize the guy was drunk. But he would have avoided all that. Look at the turmoil that was caused in two people's lives. Because they don't have Kickstarters on motorcycles anymore. Center stand and a Kickstarter. Come on, people. Let's bring some politics into this. Mayor Eric Adams is proposing that people take uh, illegal aliens, migrants, whatever you want to call them, people from other places, and giving people a little bit of money to house them in their own personal houses. First of all, my reaction is, having served in the military, <laughs> it's like, forget, I was going to say screw, but that'd be rude. Forget actual American citizens. Forget our veterans. <sighs> Let's give all these people our support and pump billions of dollars into taking care of them and putting them up in people's houses. I mean, that's not the billions of dollars, it's the motels and everything else. In a state that by and large has made it illegal for people to defend themselves, because criminals. Think it through, just like not having a center stand in a Kickstarter. Do you not know this spate of squatters that move into people's houses and you can't kick them out? Renters that stop paying rent and tear up the property and you can't kick them out because they have more rights than the homeowner. Picture this. You're taking who knows who. I mean, it's just a crapshoot. You don't know who's going to come into your house for what, a hundred and something dollars a week or whatever it is a day. I don't know. It's not worth it if you're a homeowner. Or property owner you bring some people in that are an absolute unknown quantity they could be cartel members they could be just desperate individuals maybe not but maybe so maybe not maybe so is it worth the gamble you get them into your house they start receiving mail you can't get them out you cannot get them out so now you have just given away your property rights in a state 
in which it's illegal to defend yourself. Oh, it doesn't get better than that. And you know what? There's going to be people that do that. You know, it's easy to be compassionate when you are not in a place that's affected by the effects of compassion. Think about it. You know, it's like up here. I can be as compassionate as I want as long as everything else is happening elsewhere. But when it happens to you, your attitudes will change. It's the same axiom that usually, usually, people are more liberal and giving and more open and stuff when they're living at home and their parents are supporting them and they're young. And once you start having to pay that mortgage, once you have to start paying your ins car insurance or your life insurance or paying your own way, you get a little more conservative. Now, it doesn't always happen. There are people my age that happen to have forgotten, you know, Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge. What was happening on the other side of the wall in East Germany? The effects of communism, Joe Stalin, Chairman Mao, Colonel Sanders. Well, that's all. I've got places to go, people to see. Above all, do not, do not buy a motorcycle without a center stand and a Kickstarter if you are planning on doing anything yourself on it. Of course, you could always strap a motorcycle stand to your back fender. That would work. Carry a couple spare batteries. What happens if your electrical system? What happens if you lose your key? A little known fact. All you need is a screwdriver to basically hotwire anything. Because uh, the wiring for the ignition is probably hidden behind that headlight lens. And all you do is pop the right harness and then away you go. There is no more need for ignition. Knowledge is power. That's all.